Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome to another YouTube channel. In today's video, let us see how to send large files to somebody else. If you are using iPhone or Android, you will face a problem because Bluetooth is still slow and if you have iPhone and a Macbook and if you are in an ecosystem, then only you can use the airdrop feature. And uh, lots of Android phones still use the Bluetooth 5.1 or Bluetooth 5 which is really slow to send large files and uh, you think of sending your file to somebody else who is living in another city then gmail is not a good solution because it has a cap of 25 mb that's why i have come across with two websites which will really help you to send large files if you have files up to 2 gb then i have a website called vtransfer this is for transferring your ideas videos files or whatever it is you have some good moments which you have clicked on your phone, a lot of photos to send, then you can just go to this website vtransfer.com which will be left in the link below in the description uh, where you have to just accept their terms and condition, then you have to click on I agree, then you have two options. One is to enter the email ID of the person you want to send the file or you can just get the transfer link so that you can send that link through whatsapp telegram or whatever it is just you have to select the file by clicking this plus icon to upload the file and as soon as you go here whatever the size of the file is it is very easy for you to upload it i'll just go to my folder that is uh, ayc recordings just to show you how easy it is to upload the file okay so this is a 691.6 mb file my internet is really speedier so once you click on this you have to click on get a link button so that it will start transferring or uploading the file over here According to the speed of your internet connection and the internet service provider, the file will be uploaded. For me, it is a 50 Mbps connection. That's why it will take around 11 to 15 minutes for the upload of 659.5 MB. Once the upload is finished, you will see a link which can be copied and sent through SMS, WhatsApp, Telegram or whatnot. As soon as you uh, are uploading the photos or the file which you want to transfer, you will have a lot of things which are popping up in the background for you to read and you will not get bored anyway. And you have other plans as well. If you go to the pricing section of the vtransfer.com, you can see if you want to send still larger photos like up to 200 GB. Uh, and you will also get 1 TB storage per person. You have 10 US dollars that is approximately 800 to 900 rupees per month. So if you are a pro file transferer or if you are a YouTuber like me or if you want to transfer a lot of photos, videos or files uh, to your clients or somebody else or if you are an interior designer or if you are a photographer then this is a very good plan for you uh, to get your files transferred. And think of yourself having a lot of photos, a lot of videos in your mobile which you need to transfer uh, from your mobile to PC uh, without the hassle of a cable. Then also you can use this but uh, remember one thing in mind you have to upload the file and download the file. It will consume a lot of data and if you are on an unlimited plan then it will work out for you otherwise it will not work out for you. Then the second website I'll show you while this gets uploaded on the vtransfer. So the second website is sendgb.com. This is also a very good website to send files up to 5 GB. vtransfer is giving you 2 GB of file upload where sendgb gives you 5 GB of upload. 1 TB storage and send up to 20 GB at a time when you are going with the pro plan. Whereas with the pro plan, you can send up to 200 GB file in, in vtransfer. So if you are using the file transfer for free and if you still have more to send, then this will come lot handy. You can enter up to 20 email addresses to send to. So once you upload, you can send it to 20 members. Here also you will get a link 
which you can copy and send it via whatsapp sms telegram or what not so the storage time is one day three day five day or seven day according to your selection whereas in uh, we transfer it is uh, seven days i guess i will uh, let you know by hovering into the features let's see the features over here in wetransfer.com so that we will get to know how many days they'll keep your file i think it is uh, seven days but still i'll verify it by going to the pricing tab there is nothing there is nothing written here let us see see the transfer links or the transfer expire after seven days okay so here you can click on the question mark all transfers you send count towards your storage that's fine so now let us go back to send gb send gb here also you can uh, select the file over here i'll not show how it gets uploaded but still if you want to see here also it is the same thing one file is added you can click on the link button so that share files the file is getting uploaded so this is it for today's video guys let us wait a couple of minutes for the files to get uploaded so uh, both the websites are really good for transferring a large data or large files so once the upload completes you will get the link so that which can be transferred to anyone so i'll just cancel this now because uh, it is very simple to copy the link and send it across any of the channels thank you for watching this video until my next video please keep watching another youtube channel and also leave your comments below like what kind of videos or what kind of how to videos you want to watch on our channel so that i will get to know that what you really need as my audience love you guys take care bye bye